making its largest commitment ever. That commitment from GM and the state is great news for small businesses here in the Orient area, including this pizza spot, which is popular with residents and plant workers alike. The impact on the community, plus the Motor City excitement, leaving some wondering if Ford forced GM to speed things up. There was urgency for sure. Oh, yes, Ford was on everybody's mind and how much they're willing to discuss that. Sounding the alarm. It's a staffing shortage across Michigan when it comes to first responders. How ambulance providers are saying we can render aid to the crisis. Protecting our children. Seven, going in-depth with the new technology that could change the way Michigan schools respond to threats of violence. Good evening, and thank you so much for joining us for 7 Action News at 6. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Dave Llewellyn, live in Orion Township. You can feel the excitement running through this community in the wake of GM's historic announcement earlier today. Now, I'm inside G's Pizzeria. This family-owned and operated business opened in 2008 and has been a popular spot for Orient Assembly workers ever since. When the plant is doing well, it means good things for the people who work here and elsewhere in the community. This investment will likely mean great things for so many people here and far across Metro Detroit and the state. And let's get a closer look at that investment. General Motors is investing $7 billion in facilities in Lansing and Orion Township for electric vehicle and battery production. That investment is expected to create 4,000 jobs and retain 1,000 more. The ripple effect will be massive and felt across the state. GM saying this will create $35 billion in personal income and will lead to thousands of so-called ancillary jobs. We're talking stores, salons, restaurants, businesses big and small. And that includes businesses like G's Pizzeria right here. So many people I spoke with here and across the community are just now starting to realize the impact this investment is going to have. So today I visited businesses and people across Orion Township and Lake Orion to find out what this investment means for them. Big news is a boost for downtown business owners, says Wayne Haney of Haney Farm Bureau Insurance. It's your customers, it's your community, it's your neighbors who will benefit. Yes, exactly. Yep. And they're, again, this is going to make this um, a win-win, I think, for everybody. Rhonda Myers has raised her family in Lake Orion. She also owns and operates Heartfelt Impressions Learning Centers. We serve families. And the idea that families would have security in jobs and opportunity for 2,300 more jobs, that job translates to other small businesses who serve them lunch, who fix their cars, who take care of their children. So, I mean, that ripple effect is hugely impactful. G's Pizzeria is located on Lapeer Road, a mile or so from the plant. Regulars here include Orient Assembly Plant employees. Jason Galea says today's announcement is great news for his business and the entire community. It's incredible to see that GM is going to continue to reinvest into its families and its communities here in Michigan, especially here in Lake Orion and the GM plant. That's the heart and soul of this community in some sense, and we love our GM families um, and how they continue to support us, all the community, uh, and around it. A lot of good feel here today, and that includes uh, my guest now, Orion Township Supervisor Chris Barnett. You were in uh, Lansing for the big announcement today. You, your team, worked very hard to make sure this community and Oakland County would benefit. Absolutely. Today is truly a historic day for us, not just in Orion, but as I said in Lansing, all of Southeast Michigan, because as you mentioned, the ripple effect that this will have on not just Orion, but Auburn Hills and Pontiac and Oakland County and Metro Detroit, we will feel the ripple effect of that for decades. And this is the future of the auto industry, electric vehicles, and a mile or so from here, it's going to be a hugely impactful player. This is the big one. This is it. This is the holy grail. Um, 
the four billion dollar investment that's going to happen right here in our community is unprecedented. It's the largest investment in the history of Oakland County, uh, and frankly, maybe in the in the entire state uh, for one project. Um, so yes, we are so thrilled, so excited. Um, GM is moving from automaker to platform innovator, and the fact that they're choosing here in Southeast Michigan to do that is is honoring, honoring, and humbling. And we are so excited. I can tell you the employees of that plant are pumped. This community is excited. The local residents and businesses are going to feel the effect of this for many years to come. Yeah. Years, decades down the decades. road. Decades. Congratulations Thank uh, you. on this uh, cooperation, really, too, because it, it's not just GM, it's not just the state, it's utility companies, it's everybody. And I mentioned that in my remarks earlier. This is a true team effort. I mean, we saw people working across the political aisle, uh, which people aren't always good at, to get things done for our region. So. Yes, I mean, the, from the politicians to the people in the restaurants, uh, people came together to show that we wanted this investment here in our community. We support it. We've always been by GM, and uh, we're going to be by them for a long time to come. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Dave. Chris yeah. Barnett. Thank you. The Orion Township Supervisor joining us. Now, the elephant in the room, of course, with all this, Ford and what it did last year driving GM and Michigan officials. It's not something they are really comfortable discussing publicly with 7 Action News reporter Jim Kurtzner pushing as always getting some answers and he joins us from Delta Township with that. Of course this is big money but it's happening because Ford's even bigger money 11 billion dollars going to two other states. Well I, you know I, I can't I can't uh, comment on what exactly happened there. That apprehension will change to an acknowledgement in a minute. Ford announced last year it will build new battery and EV plants in Kentucky and Tennessee, 11,000 new jobs. The big money Michigan event was all about teamwork. This is a model for not just Michigan, but for the country and the world to see all of these people standing here together with one mission, to be a part of something historic. Indeed they did, Republicans who control the legislature and the governor who's a Democrat. Michigan officials were blindsided and highly criticized when Ford's deal went south. I would be, uh, it would not be appropriate to not say that they actually did give us a, give us a, a warning that better pay attention because other similar decisions may be occurring. Governor Whitmer was front and center on the stage, but after... You can't give us two minutes? No time for questions. So back to General Motors, bringing this $7 billion to the table. Did you get a sense that they accelerated the process, though, because of what happened with they, your competitor? Well, I, I, could, I could tell you they might have. There was urgency for sure. And don't forget, this is an election year. Both political parties taking credit for helping this deal happen. In Delta Township, Jim Kurtz, Simon Action News. GM expects to have all of this up and running in just a couple of years. A production of uh, electric pickup trucks, the, uh, including the GMC Sierra, will begin at Orion in 2024. The new battery plant is also expected to be online in late 2024. GM says it will have more than one million units of electrical vehicle capacity in North America by the end of 2025. Five years later, in 2030, the auto giant is projecting half of its North American assembly capacity will be converted to building EVs. So it is significant. This day, this investment, Chris Barnett mentioned it, the township supervisor, historic, and is, is indeed that, Carolyn. Uh, a great day here. All that and more. Certainly nice to have some good news to talk about for change and a lot of money coming yes. here and staying in Michigan. So glad to see. Thank you, Dave. We're going to talk to you in just a little bit, but certainly exciting news you just brought us from uh, Orient Township there. All right.